Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 114, Actuals to Budget, a Simple Model. This is in answer to a question that Brad sent in to me at uh, quantrixauthority at gmail.com. He wanted to know how to build a, a model where you have a you budget and you track actuals. This is a very simple model that I'm going to create today. I have created much more complex models than this that track lack track actuals to budget but for the webcast I'm going to keep it simple but know that you can add as many dimensions as you want up to 16 to Quantrix and the methodology I'm showing you here with just one or two dimensions certainly would scale up to 16 very easily so awesome tool Quantrix Modeler is I have here a basic data set I have the salesperson Brian Billy and Mustang and then by month I have a, a units forecast and we're going to say that this is really kind of a, a budget, all right? And I could be pulling this in from a clipboard, from a database. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I've done it multiple ways, but here I just have it kind of living out here in a data table. So what I want to do is I want to create a new matrix, and I want to go ahead and I want to get a couple things in here. Now, there's a couple ways I could, I could set this up and do it. I'm going to show you this way, and that is I'm simply going to... Uh, rename category G here. I'm going to call it salesperson and I'm going to call that Brian. I think I got Billy and I got Mustang in here. Okay and then I'm going to make category F. I'm going to call it month and I'm going to call it Jan and <laughs> once I hit enter I'm going to hit that like 11 times and it's going to put them in there for me automatically all the way through December. I'm going to add also another category here and I'm going to call this type and it's going to be for budget and then there's also going to be one for actuals and then I probably want to add another uh, category and I'm going to call this metric and this is going to be say units all right so if I had maybe uh, sales dollars or something I could add that as well but you can see in this basic example I only have units and then what I do is I go out and I say, well, what is units equal to? Units is equal to the sum of units, okay? And again, using items as categories, it's a basic using as, using salesperson as this salesperson. And uh, this month, oh, sorry, items to categories. This month as this month right here, if I go ahead and hit enter, I should expect to see 5445 in January for Brian. And that's what I'm seeing. But you can see that actually units is the same in both of these for budget and actuals. That's actually incorrect. I want units budget to equal that. Okay. And then you can see the 5445 and actuals units is blank. Now, how do I go ahead and I get actuals? Again, if I were going out to a SQL Server or some sort of database, it could pull it in automatically for me via some data link. But I'll just go ahead and I'll create another matrix here. I'm going to call it the actuals. And it's really just going to be a two-dimensional matrix for me. I mean, this could be like row ID or whatever. It doesn't really matter. This is salesperson. Uh, this is month. And this is units. And my salesperson here, if I put in Brian, uh, let me spell that right, uh, for January. And how many units? Let's say we put in like 1,000 units or 1,100 units. Then for actuals, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, actuals units is equal to the sum of units out here using items to categories. Again, salesperson as salesperson here. And uh, what's the other one? Sorry, month category or item as month category here. Go ahead and hit enter. You can see that it populates 1100. If I go ahead and enter another one here for Billy, my man, and I do January and I say Billy did, you know, 1000 units. Uh, you can see 1,000 units populates here. And again, if I had this on a data link or something, anytime I updated this one, it would then show me my budgets to actuals. So, Brad, that's how I would do it, very simple way. Maybe I'll show you uh, in my next podcast just how I would maybe automate this. Kind of maybe a best practice would be this, is really to tie these categories to a data link that's really based off of the budget. 
Anyway, uh, tune in for the next podcast, and I'll show you how to do that as a best practice. But anyway, I hope that answers your question, Brad. Very simple model. Uh, really awesome, though. I got two formulas populating a boatload of uh, cells here. Uh, that's the beauty of Quantrix. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I love Quantrix. I really do. And I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.